Hi guys, welcome to a new video. I have here an original sample, I hope you can see it. Today I have the pleasure to present you Royal Tobacco from Amwash. I have here so Opus 14, Royal Tobacco from Amwash. I am a very big fan of tobacco and I only heard good things about this scent. I decided to get a sample and see what is all this buzz about. So as you can see here, the juice is very colored like uh, everything coming from Amouage. This is a smoky spicy scent. The perfumer behind this one is uh, Cecile Zarokian. As you can see I'm in the t-shirt so I will uh, spray it on the skin. Get the notes much better than on the paper when you have such a beautiful... Um, I think it's beautiful, I never smelled it. It has many notes, so I will only name a few of them. It has aniseed, cardamom, elemiresin, frankincense oil, I love frankincense, licorice, I hate licorice, tobacco absolute, frankincense and benzoin. So based on the notes, this should be a wonderful complex thick scent with tobacco note uh, for colder days and um, for the winter let's say but uh, let's see how it is so i will spray now and tell you how the royal tobacco is so let's spray Ooh, hoo, hoo. the licorice is exactly meh. the licorice is coming out exactly when i didn't want it no the top nine the no the start i don't like it it's very busy, so when you spray it, it's, it has a very, very busy start. It's a, a, a very spicy, exactly like it says on the tin, smoky, spicy. When you spray it, you saw I sprayed quite generously, like a few sprays right now. And actually, in my case, if there are some notes which I don't like in the perfume, those will pop the first. So licorice. I don't like it. Also the Sauvage Elixir, so Dior Sauvage Elixir has a strong note of licorice inside which I don't like and that's why I don't like that scent. This one here, let's see a bit, dry down, hmm, it's still very busy. The notes starts to get a bit rounder so it's not as uh, annoying uh, start as it was before because of this licorice but still um, I don't think this will be one of my favorites from Amouage. It's complex, thick, you can smell the thickness. This is a scent which I think it will stay with you for like many hours and it will just project and be there. This is for people who like loud, bold perfumes and also like the licorice note, I think this one is, is good. This is, like I said, the first smell for me, like a smell at first sight for me and I don't really like it. Um, I never tried it before, I, I sprayed it now uh, and luckily I only have this sample, which I will give it uh, a few wears in the next days, maybe it's different maybe i will spray it on the clothes and they will smell different but like this on the skin right now if you can get over the annoying top note i think it it evolves quite well so um, in around five minutes since i sprayed it's nicer it's becoming nicer it's somehow candy like uh, smelling so like uh, those licorice candies uh, they have a very specific and strong uh, sweet aromatic smell let's say and this one has it too but i can sense now a bit of smoke coming out a bit of smoke a bit of uh, green tobacco somehow so like not the burnt tobacco like in the tobacco bar but like this green beautiful leaves that you would smell on a cigar maybe it becomes much, much better after the few minutes. Usually mainstream perfumes, they are made to have a very catchy top note to steal your uh, attention. You go to the counter, you pay and then uh, at home you see that actually it's not like you thought it would be. With this one, I think it's the opposite. So the top notes are not very catchy, at least not for me. If, if I would um, test this scent in a perfumery or like in a shop, I would just leave and say, okay, it's not for me, leave it alone. But hmm, yeah, after a few minutes, it becomes better and gives me this impression of this wet aromatic sauna where you have like the smoke and you have maybe some aromatics put on those tones and like the vapors and so on. So it's a nice scent. It's definitely a complex scent. It has great ingredients from uh, Amouage, like uh, all, uh, all the creations. 
it will come in a bottle like this one in here is the rose incense but also the um, the other opuses they come with this matte and the dark cap if you want a more detailed review and uh, explain a bit better what the notes uh, are doing and how they evolve and uh, i will put down in the description the, um, the review of Rob Zoet, which I think is great, it's one of his best reviews ever, where he explains this royal tobacco in depth, no? let's say. For me, the first impression is not very rosy. I don't think I will have a bottle of this scent. It's quite unique. Maybe, maybe it has a bit of resemblance with a replica fireplace, but very, very far away. So it's not like similar. It, it, it has a resemblance to that one. Other than that, it seems quite unique. Given uh, the scent DNA and the complexity of the notes and uh, the, the amouage style of perfumery or so what Cecil Zarokian is doing as perfumes, this is a perfume that will change and change and evolve and change and I expect it to be 12 hours plus, so in the 12 hours plus club from this regard is okay. Versatility. I don't think it's too versatile to be very honest. I think if you go smelling like this somewhere like in a business meeting or like at an interview, you might give the wrong impression. So better use other more mainstream friendly scents rather than this one. So not too versatile seasons. I think it will shine in the colder months as a score. I'm thinking between 7 and 8 out of 10. 7 because I really don't like it and I wanted to test it on the skin to see how it is but it's kind of turning my stomach upside down because of this licorice so yeah. Um, but this has nothing to do with the, with, the, with the complexity and the beauty of the scent has more to do with me and because I don't like this licorice so I would say that all in all as creation as uh, a contribution to the perfume world and as the complexity of the scent this would be a solid 8 out of 10 so that will be my rating for the scent an 8 out of 10 I think it's long lasting, I think it's quite original, it smells quite unique, it will last very very long and the price, if you don't go retail and you find some good offer like under 300 euro or 300 dollars, I think it's also worth the price if you like this uh, Saint DNA. It's not a blind buy, so my friends, please go and try it, get an original sample from Amouage or get a tester set or I don't know, going to a perfumery, do not blind buy the tobacco, uh, the royal tobacco, because it's very controversial, at least for me. And in case you don't like it, eventually it will be an expensive purchase. Please let me know in the comments below if you are a friend of royal tobacco, if this is a scent which you like and enjoy and own. And I hope to see you soon on the channel again. Stay healthy. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.